a snake, man, you've been alive. I, 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 cut us down, man, you multiply. I don't care, man, I fly to you. Air Jordans while I take flight. That was a line from back in the day. Big up, Gershom, we'll be doing fine. I, I, where the time go? Bye bye to my old flow. Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of Shay Skis. Let's get started. So I will be doing a uh, get ready with me. I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys because you guys asked a lot of questions after a couple of my videos. So I said instead of doing a typical question and answer, I will do a get ready with me because I have videos to film. So I might as well just do my makeup on camera and chat with y'all at the same damn time, honey. Um, so all the products that I use I will try to remember to put them in the description box below if I don't do it please remind me because sometimes I just edit I do what I gotta do and then I forget about putting that in the description box so just remind me if I forget don't spaz out on me because it's not there okay I also have my oatmeal she looks a little dry but she's not honey she's good okay no no judgment anyway let's get down to business to defeat the hun yeah. so a lot of people were like asking after the whole video with my pop talking about my dad and did he ruin my life and whatnot? A few people asked me, I won't say a lot of people because I ain't that famous, but a few people asked um, Shay, like, when you had those issues with your dad, did it mess up your relationships? Like, and yes, I would say it did. I, I touched on that briefly in the video. Um, but yeah, uh, And I'm not gonna sit here and bash any of my relationship, my past relationships, because I'm not gonna say that the people that I was in a relationship with were um, bad people. I'm not gonna say that. They just weren't right for me. And it could be they weren't right for me then, but they might be right for me now. Who knows? But when I was dating them, it was just not the right fit for me um because I see a lot of them now cuz I'm cool like when I say cool like we don't hang out and talk on the phone every day but I'm cool with them like we're friends on Facebook and stuff and they're most of them are in like what seems to be a happy relationship and they treat the person they're with uh, pretty good so uh, it could have just been the relationship with me was just not um, a one square one. But yes, uh, the issues with my pops had a lot affected my uh, relationships because I always felt like I wanted to fix people and I didn't want people to leave so, um, I would accept nonsense that I probably shouldn't, well, not probably, I shouldn't have accepted. The coverage on this, this is like lightweight. This is not full coverage at all. I still deal with, uh, finding the difference between letting people go who don't need to be in my life and um giving people chances because not everybody needs a chance understanding the root of where the problem comes from and it's not like i could talk to my dad about it my father about it you know what i mean he's not here anymore so we can't have a conversation but it it helps uh kind of knowing where certain behaviors stem from and 
the, that that situation uh, played a major part in my life because I just feel like I just always am the person who just wants to like take care of everyone and make sure everyone is good and um, I just in a sense just didn't want people to leave so I would just accept their flaws and just make like excuses for it now I'm just like nah fam and that deals with friendships too because I can't be bothered like my thing is is like for a very long time I was the one who wanted to make sure that everybody was good and everybody was taken care of and he's like nobody was doing that for me so what the fuck sorry for cursing but that's genuinely how I feel like we're not gonna do this anymore because who it, who is that helping so my makeup game has gotten so much better I looked at my makeup like a while that shit was treacherous boy why y'all ain't never tell me y'all supposed to be fan bam and y'all got me out here looking crazy in the streets I'll forgive you or not cause that was type messed up y'all gotta let your sister know like when she look in a hot basket mess like that ain't cool. You can't be having me out here looking crazy. I'm supposed to get a husband if I'm looking crazy. Someone asked me another question about like religion. Literally, I just posted a video on my second channel talking about how somebody came for me because I made a pizza and it had pepperoni on it. So the person was like, Dread, you eating pork? Wow. And I was like, um... First and foremost, how do you know is not turkey bake? I mean, turkey um, pepperoni. And secondly, it's my body, fam. How the heck you gonna? To try to come at somebody for the choices that they make with their life. I get the whole thing with uh, eating pork and all that stuff. Like, I get it. I get it. But you're making a judgment call on somebody that you don't even know. I am uh, slowly weaning off of meat in general. Because I know ultimately all that stuff is not good for anyone do y'all feel people everybody who has locks should not eat meat do you feel like everybody who has locks should all automatic out automatically be a part of the um rastafarian culture religion um uh, I believe in God. I do believe in the man upstairs. Well, while I was one of those people who felt like God had a vendetta against me because things just kept happening that just didn't make any sense to me. So I was just like, maybe there isn't a God because how does God allow certain things to just keep happening to somebody over and over and over again and then I started researching more on the law of attraction and what you bring into your life is ultimately what you get meaning I subconsciously kept bringing these negative negative things in my life because I kept thinking about it. You ever heard the meaning, the uh, phrase, you reap what you sow? That's basically like the same thing. So I kept sowing in negativity, I kept thinking about it religiously like, 
I don't want this type of man. I don't want this type of friends. I don't want this type of job. I don't want this. I don't, I don't, I don't. And the don't part is what you're bringing in. And I just had to uh, kind of realize that. And it was, it wasn't the fact of God hating me. It was just the fact of me keep making the same mistakes and keep dwelling on the negative aspect. Because when he brings me a blessing, I'm so focused on the negative that I don't even realize what I, the blessing I did have and now it's being taken away. So who am I going to blame after that happens? I'm still learning how to figure out the law of attraction because that whole situation is hard, especially for a person who always, the first thing to think is negative before you start thinking about the positive. Simple. Bada bing, bada boom. So I'll keep it real with y'all. I've been thinking about cutting my hair. I've been thinking about this for a while. I know a lot of you will not be happy about that if that time does come. But I just, I'm kind of like, not over locks. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't even know how to explain it, to be honest. It won't be anytime soon, of course. But I've been thinking. I've also been thinking about putting my name to my actual name. I know y'all gonna be like, Shay, why don't you use like a different color? You're always with the goals. I don't know. It just looked good on me. I'm sorry. Where am I going? Nowhere. To work to pick up my check. This oatmeal is bomb. I'm gonna take this chocolate shade and just smoke it out. Another person asked me a question like, am I dating? Um, no, I'm not. No, I am not dating. No, I am not dating. <laughs> Nobody wants me. <laughs> Nobody wants me. I'm going to do my liner off camera because this takes a year and a half and y'all ain't got time. What Drake mean when he say he light skin but he's still a dark nigga? What do you mean? Am I in focus? I hope I'm in focus because this would suck if this whole time I'm not in focus because I'm not redoing it. Should we add some color? Yes. So I'm going to do this color in my tear duct. Hey guys, it's your girl Shay. Question, have you subscribed? Because you're always here. You might as well just join the Tiger Lily squad. Gang, gang. And turn on your notification bells. All right, let's get back to the video.
Eso es lo que me gusta. Bueno, me gusta. Well guys, this is the end of the look. I really like it, really cute. This is my hair. Like I said, I did a video on this hair. How do you guys like it? Did I serve you look? Did I give you full glam, honey? Did I? I didn't exfoliate my lips so it looks a little crusty, but don't judge me, boo. All right, all right. Um, yeah, but this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little conversation and this little get ready with me. I hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, go to my second channel, That Girl With Locks, where I go through like my vlogs and whatnot. I will also try to remember, remember this Shay, to put the info in the description box below for the makeup that I use. All right, see you later, Tiger Lilies. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curb.